Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to try to etch glass. Alright, before we get into this video, just wanted to take a second and ask to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching our videos. Uh, it's what keeps us going. And also, we use Monport. Uh, they support us and they've given us a discount code for you guys that is a 10% off. Yes, we do get a commission from that, but you guys still get the 10% off, and that is KLR10. It's in the description below. If you have any questions, let us know. If you want leaks straight to lasers, let us know, but uh, we can get any of that to you. For this video, though, we are going to use this piece of glass. This is out of uh, our computer case, and we wanted to just test it out, see how it works. Um, what I'm going to start with is I'm going to just do our KLR font. I'm going to do it small in one of the corners, and then we're going to come back with uh, something a little different after we figure out the settings. So I'm going to get this into the laser. Already got the KLR. It's the same one we always use, the same font. Um, we're going to try out different settings and powers and uh, see what we can figure out. Okay, got the piece of glass in there. I'm not exactly sure where it's going to be orientated, so we might have to move it around or move around the design. I inverted it. I'm going to laser the inside of the glass, so it's all going to be reversed. And then when we put it back on the computer, it'll be a flush front with laser from the back side. This is a tinted piece of glass, so I'm not entirely sure if we need to... Um, put any kind of masking on it, um, if it needs painted with something pre-hand, that's what we're going to try to figure out. Tinting might make it work, but if not, we'll try a few different things and see if we can get figured out. I've transferred the file to the laser, so it's the KLR one, so we're going to enter that. And then to start with, I am going to frame it and see where exactly it's at. It's actually a fairly good spot so I'm going to move the glass over there and then we will get the uh, z-axis set up correctly and give it a test. Alright, going to do the auto homing. setting which is auto home or auto focus sorry not auto home and we hit enter all right that's where we need it first go at this it's going to be 400 millimeters a second at 20 percent power so let's see how that runs don't forget your safety Gotta have it, and all right, we're gonna give this a go.
That went slightly over a minute, under two minutes. I'm not exactly sure where. It looks like it etched it great. Um, let's see how it feels. Yep, I can definitely feel that it etched it. We'll have to clean that because there's some, um, you know, glass. See the glass on me, so we'll get that cleaned and see if it's fully done or not, or if we need to turn it up or run it again. It looks like it didn't fully get everywhere, so we'll have to take a look and see. All right, so <clears throat> not perfect. Unfortunately, while we were cleaning it, the glass moved a little bit, and once the glass moved, it's not lined up anymore, so we can't run it again. But I am gonna do a bigger little design, a B following our last name uh, up here, and I'm going to preemptively turn it up a bit. We'll probably go to 30 um, on the power percentage. We'll run it like that, and if it doesn't look perfect, instead of actually cleaning it, we'll just run it again without moving it. So, I'm gonna get that changed in the setup, get the file loaded into the laser, and then we'll be right back. Okay, got the piece of glass back in. I put it in upside down at first or I put it right side up, I had to flip it over to get it inverted, that could have been a big problem. Um, but luckily, Aaron caught it before I did it. Uh, so got it back in, got it framed out. This one takes up basically the majority of the glass, so it's gonna be, it says about 36 minutes. Um, I've upped it to 30% power, it's still at 400 milliseconds a second, milliseconds per, millimeters per second. Uh, it says I can go up to 600 on that. Not quite sure I want to push that yet. 400 is pretty good. Uh, so we'll test that out another time. I have framed it so it's where we want it. I'm going to hit go on it and then we will be back when it's done. Of course, always safety glasses.
All right, just wanted a quick reminder. We did all of this in light burn. All right, this is done. It took right about that 36 minute mark. It looks like it is a much better percentage to go with the 30. That looks great. I'm not gonna run my finger against it again. We will spray it and clean it, but it looks great. See how it looks from the back side. Oh man, that's frosted beautifully. Gonna get it back on the computer where we do have some LED lights, not a ton, but it'll be enough that it should uh, glow a little bit. All right, loving the way that looks. Kind of subtle, but it still glows a bit. Uh, exactly what we wanted. Uh, the KLR is even more subtle. Dig that as well. Um, did want to say that as I was looking at videos to try to find settings, there were multiple reports of glass breaking uh, when they were etching it like this. So be careful with your power. Move up slowly. Watch out for breaking your glass. Also, this one is tinted. So we didn't need to put anything on it. I've seen where some people use Sharpie, the paint like we've done before. So you might have to do something a little different. But again, light burn, we did uh, 400 millimeters a second. I definitely think we could go up to five or 600. And our finishing power was 30%. Um, we love the way that turned out. Thanks for coming and watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, let us know. And we will see you next time.